Robin Ludd now in transition, top of the 18, left foot shot in the back of the net. 3-0 Minnesota. That's the final whistle here in St. Paul, Minnesota. Minnesota three, Colorado nil. The 2020 campaign has come to a close. I felt by the end of the Minnesota game, I really wasn't that upset because there was a point in the game where I said, we, we've come a long way and we've, we've become a good team and we weren't quite ready. The way this team has fought all year long and all of the adversity they've faced is one of those things to be proud of. Wherever you are, wherever you're wearing burgundy, you can be proud of these guys and what they've done this year, making the playoffs for the first time since 2016. But it ends here against Minnesota United FC. So I came out of the Minnesota game really excited about this year. And now this year is here. We have 27 picks in the first round. There is already big moves happening out there, Doyle. Colorado Rapids trading up from sixth to the third spot. Houston Dynamo got the sixth pick. What do you make of these moves so far? Well, when teams are given that much allocation money to move into the top 10, and Colorado moving into the top three with their second trade into the top 10, like that tells you they have a guy who they know they want to get right there. They're not just looking for someone, the best talent on the board. They have a specific purpose with those trades. In that last minute, they'll confirm the pick on here, and then you'll go there, or whoever's going to okay. do it, and, and announce and it. And announce it then. Okay. But don't know <clears throat> internally what's going to happen. Okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Austin SC selects the Daniel Pereira. Whoa! <laughs> We're going to get Mayaka. FC Cincinnati select Calvin Harris from Wake Forest. Colorado is now on the bus. Pereira off the board, Calvin Harris off the board, reading between the lines, between the mock drafts and all the scuttlebutt. This to me, Doyle says, we are to Philip Mayaka and that is likely gonna be the pick. Have you decided on your pick? We have decided on our pick, Colorado pick, player number 97, Philip Mayaka, midfielder from Clemson University. Three, two, one, play. Colorado Rapids select midfielder Philip Mayaka from Clemson. Hello, Philip. How are you doing, Philip? This is Porrick Smith with the Colorado Rapids. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. We're super excited to be able to get you. We didn't think you were going to be there at three, so it's a, a big deal for us. We, we think you're going to come in here and be a really big piece of what we're looking to do in the future. He's a tenacious midfielder. He's good on both sides of the ball, which is very important to us. He can play that more defensive side and still be a box-to-box -box player as well. So we're incredibly pleased to be able to bring him on board. I think he's going to be a strong addition. and He really has the potential to be a top performer in this league for years to come. Whether I was, I was going to get picked number one or number last, all I wanted to join the MLS and continue working out. So I didn't care who drafted me. And the fact that Colorado, like, they welcomed me, I knew they saw something special in me. Everything I'm doing right now, I'm doing it for my family. I have to put my mom on my budget. I have to put my dad on my budget. Like, everything I do, it's for my family. I wanted to join a team that has a structure, a team that has been in MLS, a team that has played, so they know I can fit in their, in their game, and that's why they elected me. So I don't have any pressure. Whether I perform this year or not, I'll still keep pushing until I get my chance. Good smile for me. Okay, go ahead and face me, cross your arms. I think it's gonna be so important for us to keep to, to be together. You know, this year is gonna is like the third year. I think this is this is a, a important year. I mean, I, I see that. This year we can accomplish a lot of stuff. So it just depends about us and how players fit, you know, together. 
para que este sea un buen campeonato. Estoy cuidando, estoy comiendo sano. Eh, la verdad que cambió mi alimentación, mi entrenamiento, así que me siento muy bien. Last season was a tough season and we had we got to smell a little bit of the playoffs and personally I think we all just want more. You know, we know we know we got more in us and it's a young squad so it will not always be perfect but it's every player is hungry in this team and that's what I like. <laughs> what is that? Even though we weren't happy to to get out of the playoffs, we still were we're happy with what we achieved in such a short time with Robin. The standards are set higher for all of us, um, including guys like myself. I mean, I got to be more productive in the final third, and I got higher goals for myself as well. And I, and I know the the team does as well. So we're excited to kick off the year and just get things going because we're we're ready to kick off this year. Tus ambiciones para esta temporada Salí campeón. ¿Qué Really felt like last year was very much about establishing the foundation for the style of play and our principles of play and that sort of thing. And this year is different. I know the game, the playoff game against Minnesota was many, many months ago. But as I went into the preseason, the players must have thought I was crazy because all I could talk about was from that moment to this moment, feels like there's been no time. Do you guys remember what I said to you at the end of the playoff game? Partway through the game, partway through the second half, I just realized we're not ready. But we're first time in that area, first time in that stage, and we just weren't ready. And by the end of the game, as upset as everybody else was, I was already excited about next year. Like that was my feeling coming out of the game. Is that we weren't ready, and we're going to be feeling better. By the end of the game, I was almost smiling, thinking about next year. Next year is here, right? Next year starts today, and I hope you guys share that same feeling. We come out of that game going, all right, that wasn't us at our best. But in three, four, five months, whatever it's been, now it's that time again, and this is the time that I was thinking about then. And now, by the end of the game, I was already on to this thinking about next year, what we can do. The, the knowledge that you have, the chemistry that you have, the way you play together, the way that you attack together, and the way you defend together. All of that starts today, and we start up on the quest. We start up on a new quest, continue on the quest that we started on. To have everybody back here, you know, a lot of familiar faces is really nice. I just think that the chemistry between the players on and off the field helps us win games. At the end of the day, we made the playoffs, which the club hadn't reached the four years before that. But personally, I would say, if you look at the squad we have, I think we need to reach higher than the, just reaching the playoffs. I think we are capable of doing that. We've come a long way and we, we've become a good team. And we weren't quite ready to maybe go beyond that point. And we showed that we can be a good team. But to put it all together is still a work in progress. We've come here to work hard. We have five weeks to give everything and get fit and uh, to get better than we were last season. And that's what we, what we try to do.